So as I always say that uh, anything that is to do with calculations, make sure that you work with more questions. So there's another question that we are going to work on, on our electric circuits. We are on question number 11 on this question paper, we are given this diagram. Uh, the second diagram below, all right, in this second diagram that we see, all right, the reading on voltmeter V1 is 12 volts. So we are given our V1, that is 12 volts, which is the battery, which is the source. That's our battery there. And the reading on the ammeter A1 is 2 amps. Across this ammeter, the current flowing is 2 amps. Remember the ammeter measuring current. So that is what you're given. And if you are to consider this, uh, this current is the same current that is going to flow on this branch. And it branches. Another one is going to flow this side another part of the current is going to flow this side. All right, so this current is going to branch the other one this side. So here, if this is our first current, according to ammeter one, gonna call a current one. In this ammeter two, we are going to measure another current there. In this ammeter three, we are going to measure another current, which is I3, because they are different in parallel. The current is not the same. Then this total current that we are seeing, it is the same that is going to flow. Coming out here, we've got this current going out here. They meet at this point. They join together to this point. So the supply current, which is our I1, is the same that is going to be seen at this point, which is going to pass through this point, okay? Because this is now in a series to this one. But these two are in parallel. They have got different current. What is the same here is the voltage that we have across one of these. The voltage across the six ohm is the same as the voltage across the, the three ohm. But not to say this one because there's a, a resistor here, so we cannot take this voltage and place it here. No, because there is a resistor here, so we can't do that. We have to find means of calculating that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see our information. Uh, so we are given 11.1, calculate 11.11, the total resistance of the circuit, that is four marks. So the total resistance of the circuit, we are to consider one, there's a parallel combination and also connected in series. So the first thing is to connect, uh, to calculate one for the parallel combination, then we add to the series one that we are given because that is in a, in a series. All right, so that was the, the idea of this question. That's 11.11. So there are two combinations there. So you're going to start with the parallel. Combina also for parallel combination, uh, you can just write your RP or you can just write it like this, R parallel, right? Remember, uh, we want to calculate RP in this case, and we do not know this. And our formula states that 1 over RP is equal to 1 over R1 plus one over R2 and so on. So these are just two resistors which are in parallel. So you're going to add these two as one over, one over this, one over six plus one over three. You add these two. So that's one over RP. All right, so there we're gonna have uh, one over RP, which is equal to, so you're going to add these two, that is one over six, uh, plus uh, the one over three, all right? The one over three that you're given there, which is uh, which was gonna give us one over two. So this is one over two. Remember what I said, uh, RP, to calculate this is simply RP over one. You invert this RP over one, which is RP. You also invert the other way that is gonna be two over one. And two over one is a two, all right? Two over one is two. So that means RP is two ohms. The parallel combination, when connected together, it will give you a two ohms. So it means at the end of the day, you are going to have something like this. Uh, you connect, you, you calculated the total resistance of these two in parallel. So it is now a single resistor like this. It's now a single resistor. But there's also another resistor that is there of what? Of four ohms, this one. So there's a resistor here. There's a resistor here. How are these resistors connected? They are now in series. These two resistors are now in series. So therefore, the total resistance in this case, it is going to be 
the addition of this. Therefore, our total resistance is going to be the sum of our parallel combination and this 4 ohm resistor that we are given. So it is going to be true plus 4. Remember, in a series combination, you add. So it was going to give us 2 uh, plus 6, 2 plus 4, which is uh, 6 ohms at the end. So the total resistance of our circuit was going to be the parallel combination added to the 4 ohm resistor because they will be in a series now. Okay, so I hope you understand this, the, this part. 11.12, the reading on V2. So we need to know the reading on our voltmeter too here. So as I said that the current that is flowing here, I1, is the same as the current here, but it's going to branch this one, another one here. This same current is the one that is going to branch through that side, and it is now back as it was before. So it is I1 that is going to flow here, this current of 2 amps. It is the same current that is going to pass through this resistor. So given a current and resistance, we can calculate the voltage. Remember our triangle voltage, uh, current resistance. So we are given current and resistance. We want voltage. So it's going to be current times resistance. All right. So there we can calculate this 11.12. Uh, so V2, that is going to be current times resistance, which is the total current is the one that is going to flow here times the resistance of 4 ohms. So 2 times 4. That was going to be 8 volts, just like that. Simple, simple, simple like that. As simple as this, just like that, okay? You're not going to consider a lot of, no. Understand how the connections are, how the resistors are connected, and what is the effect of that, all right? If the current is the same, what is the effect of that? All right. Then the reading on A2, A2 is the ammeter, this one. We need the reading on the ammeter A2 here. All right. So the reading on the ammeter, it means we are supposed to calculate the current. We, we are supposed to calculate current. Remember, the ammeter measures what the current. So how can I calculate current? Remember, in a parallel circuit, this is a parallel circuit, this one. In a parallel circuit, we do understand that the voltage is the same. So VP is the same. When I'm saying VP is the same, it is the same between the 6 ohm and the 3 ohm resistor. But we do not have this VP. We can take advantage of this because remember when we calculated RP, it is now a single resistor that we have. And there, there is a single resistor of 4 ohms connected to the source or connected to our batch. So it follows that the voltage across here, which is our parallel combination, and this voltage, which is our V2, the one that we connect, we, we calculated, if we add these two, they are supposed to add up to the total voltage, which is our V1. So with this, we can calculate first the total voltage. That's... um. I mean, we can calculate the parallel uh, voltage uh, combination that we're given. So let us calculate uh, VP first, all right? Calculate uh, VP first. So this is it. The voltage across the parallel combination. How can we calculate this? If we are given V1, it follows this V1, the total voltage is equal to the voltage across the, the wall of this parallel combination together connected the voltage there, which is your VP, plus this V2, because they will be in series. So as we want to calculate this VP, so we are given V1, that's 12 volts, all right, the total volt there, uh, VP plus V2, our V2, which is the voltage across here, is the one that we calculated. Remember, we got 8 from 4 times 2. We got uh, 8... So just subtract this side, that's 8 from 12. 12 minus 8, that is going to be what? Uh, if we subtract this, uh, 12 minus 8 is equal to VP. So our VP was going to be uh, 12 minus 8, that was going to be 4 volts. So this is your parallel combination voltage. Why are we considering? Because VP is the same. So the voltage across 
the the six ohm because there is a voltage uh, that we're gonna have a voltmeter and also a voltmeter there. So I'm simply saying the voltage here is four volts. The same thing here, the voltage across here is four volts. It's four volts. So we can calculate the current across A2. Why? Given the voltage and the resistance, we can calculate our current. Remember from this formula, now we need current. So current is a voltage over, voltage over resistance. You close that part of current. So since you want to calculate your current, therefore your current was going to be given from the voltage over the resistance. So the current across the ammeter two, we can just call this I2 like this. So I2 is the voltage across the parallel combination, which is four volt. Remember, the voltage is the same. Over the resistance across where uh, the ammeter two is, the, the resistance there is six. You take the resistance that is connected there. So that is our current there. So that is what you're going to have. Uh, four divided by six, this was gonna be 0, 0.666 and so on. So if you have rounded off to two decimal places from your calculator, it's gonna be 0, 0.67 amps. Already your calculator is fixed to two decimal places, so you're gonna have uh, 0, 0.67 amps. That was the idea of the question. You can, guys, you can calculate these questions. Do as many questions as you can. I advise you to work out many questions. Understand your question. Understand how the question is given. All right, 11.14. Uh, 11 the amount of charge, charge, take note, that flows through a meter one, take note, in 120 seconds. So it is not just about the charge. It must flow through the ammeter, through the ammeter one. Ammeter one, where is our ammeter one? This is our ammeter one. So lucky enough, across the ammeter one, the current is already there, all right? The current is already there. So we are not gonna calculate the current. We're just gonna calculate our charge direct. So that's 11.14. So if you've forgotten your formulas, that's why you've got your formula sheet so that you can relate. Charge is equal to current times the change in time in seconds. So that's our Q, the charge. That's current times the change in time. And this change in time, I said, it must be in seconds, in seconds. So Q is equal to the current. Since they say across the ammeter one, what is the current across the ammeter one? That is two times the change in time in seconds we are given. For how many seconds? 120 seconds. So the time is already in seconds. So you simply multiply to 120. So that's our Q, which is going to be two times 120. That is 240. Remember the unit charge for, uh, the unit of charge is the Coulomb. That is the Coulomb. So the Coulomb is just a C, okay? Just like that. So that's our uh, 11.14. Then let us consider what we have here. How will the reading on ammeter A affect this and that? Okay, let us just see here. How will the reading on ammeter A1 af be affected if six ohm resistor is removed from the circuit? Write down only the answer, only the answer, is it increase, decrease, or remain the same if you remove the six ohm resistor? All right, how is going? How, how is this current going to be affected across the ammeter one? We remove this resistor. So if we remove this resistor, what is going to happen is that you are going to have now the total resistance increased because these resistors will be connected in series. So as these resistors are connected in series, we are going to have more resistance. And if the, if the resistance is more, what happens with current? Current decreases. So the, quest, the answer there was going to be a decrease, a decrease because current is increased, but they wanted just the answer. So as current uh, decreases, it's because the resistance is what increased. If, in, if resistance increases, then the current has to decrease. Explain the answer to question 11.2 without any calculation. So this is what I was saying, guys. So we are saying 
uh, like I said, if the 6 ohm is removed, the resistance of the whole circuit increases, all right? So, okay, let's just write. If the 6 ohm, this resistor that we had, so if the 6 ohm uh, resistor, if the 6 ohm resistor, uh, if the 6 ohm resistor is removed, so remember, you removed this. So by removing this, by default, this increases the resistance because we're going to just remain with a series combination. So in this case, the resistance increases. So the resistance, the resistance first increases. That is the first thing. The resistance increases. And remember, I explained about the re relationship between the resistance and the current. Resistance is inversely proportional to current. So as the resistance is increasing, going up, the current is going down. So that is uh, resistance is inversely proportional to current. So as resistance increases, voltage is constant. Remember that will be constant at that moment. So the current decreases. That is what you need. All right. So these are your typical questions. Do so to subscribe so that you know you won't miss any of the classes that we shall have from MedZone African Motives till we meet again.